Like many small liberal arts colleges, Flagler also has more female than male students. But the Flagler College administration says that's a problem because less men may also mean less women on the historic campus. We, were tr we attract fewer male students. And that's been the real push. It's not necessary. Males and females retain at roughly the same percentage. Um, that fall to fall retention rate, there's normally a one, two point drop. But the issue is when we attract and recruit into a cohort, um, 60, 65% female, all of a sudden you really need to hold on to that male student. Um, and to some degree, part of holding on to the male student involves holding on to female students. To find out how to attract and keep more male students, Flagler College Associate Professor Tracy Upchurch organized a focus group of 13 high-achieving men. Some of the findings are not surprising to either Flagler students or faculty. The things we talked about are the strict requirements we have for those students that live in dorms. The lack of uh, inter-dorm visitation, uh, the zero tolerance policy for drinking on campus, uh, those sort of things for which I personally believe Flagler is pretty darn unique. In addition to inner dorm visitation and a lift to Flagler College's dry campus policy, the focus group gave Upchurch other more unconventional ideas on how to attract and retain more male students as well. One of the ideas that I like to, as well as any is to establish relationships between particular faculty and particular male uh, dormitory halls. I don't know how exactly that would work, but I think it's another way um, to reach out to, to a particular subset of the, uh, of the college population. I'd love to see a skate park on campus. I mean, it's, it, it, is an, it is an athletic recreational activity. The University of North Florida has one. Um, and I think that that sends a real positive message to, um, to at least some segment of students. Flagler College Admissions Director Rachel Branch has additional funding this year to recruit more male students. And the college has new scholarships for out-of-state students, especially for those from Georgia. Specifically this year, um, we've reallocated some of our um, name buying funds. So what we've done is re we've reallocated those name purchases to include um, some different types of mails, more mails specifically. Um, we've done some more specific targeted emails and um, direct mail marketing to our male population. Whenever we see a male student that's very interested in attending Flagler, um, they get a different series of emails and a different series of contact than our female students necessarily would. So in addition to restructuring our name buy, the other thing that we've done is we see, we see a lot of opportunity in Georgia to recruit some more students from the state of Georgia. Um, so what we've done is we've specifically implemented scholarship opportunities for our Georgia students. Flagler College administration says that a small pool of dateable men may chase away its female students as well. To some degree, part of holding on to the male student involves holding on to female students. Um, I mean, there's something to be said for the fact that you come to college, you need to see a dating pool. Um, and when you're looking at a chunk of the dating pool leaving after the first year, it becomes a question then for that female in their second year. Is this where I want to be? Is this the college experience I want? Branch agrees with Miller and says that both female and male college students in general are often looking for their life partners. College is as much social as it is an academic experience and um, students spend less time in the classroom than they do outside of the classroom. There's a lot of free time during the day um, and I think they're, uh, every student that comes to Flagler, that any, any college or university across the country is looking for a social experience in addition to an academic experience. And um, lots, of, lots of students come to college and hopefully are going to meet their mate, um, get married, and you want to make sure that um, you can provide um, you know, a good social experience for your students and an equal gender balance definitely helps um, with that process. Although the Flagler administration has not surveyed its female students on the issue, some Flagler students say that a potential dating pool did not affect their college choice. I came to college to further my intellectual abilities and really create a plan for uh, my career. I really didn't think of marriage and college within the same area, I guess. Yeah, it really wasn't like a factor in coming to school or why I was coming to school. DeFalco and many other female students say that Flagler's small size was the deciding factor in choosing the college. I am Raisa Montilla for FCTV News Center.